Hello everybody, you're very welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In this episode we're going to look at stacks again, but this time we're going to look at how to implement them as linked lists. So before we looked at how to implement them as an array, which is a fixed size, whereas with the linked list we can grow or reduce the size of the linked list as much as we like. So let's remind ourselves of a stack. We remember a stack is like a stack of plates or a stack of documents. Generally speaking, we take from the top and add to the top. So the last element that's added in is the first one out, a LIFO structure. And we can't say that enough, L-I-F-O, LIFO, last in, first out. That's what describes a stack. So our example stack again, if our, we, we view it vertically, and if we want to consider the top as being the top element and the bottom as being the bottom element, then we add values to the top. So if we want to add the number 67, we add it to the top and then it's added to the top. And then the only element we can access in the stack then is number 67. Even though we can see 59, 53 and all the other values, we can't access them. We can only take from the top. So that if we want to take the value off from the top, it's 67, we can take off from the top. Then if we want to get to 53, we'll say we have to take 59 off, then we get to 53. But we only take from the top, that's the rule with the stack. So we'll recall that when we implemented the stack as an array, we had an array called stack, our max length was max size, and the current top of the stack was called stack top, a pointer. Using a linked list, we don't need to give the linked list a name. Um, the linked list has no max size because a linked list can grow infinitely, but we'll still call the current top stack top, so we'll, we'll, we'll preserve that pointer element. But the two key issues there is there's no max size and we don't typically give linked list names. So we'll recall our stack, a linked list, typically has a head pointer, very faded in grey there, you can see the head pointer pointing to the top value and then all the other values point to each other until we get to null. So for our stack we're going to have a new pointer called stack top and it will point to probably almost all the time where the head pointer is. But I want to make this very clear. As much as possible, we won't use the head pointer when we're implementing the stack. We'll use stack top instead. As much as possible, we won't use any of the methods we created for implementing or uh, manipulating a linked list. We'll create new methods for manipulating the stack. So um, we'll, we'll see this more when we get into the programming of it. But it's very easy to cheat and use modules or methods we've created for the linked list in implementing the stack features. But we don't want to do that. We want the linked list features to sit in one layer and on top a new layer that's the stack layer. And we don't want them to interact too much because then if somebody fiddles around with a method in the linked list implementation, we don't want our methods or modules reliant on that. So here we go. How do we... Um, implement a stack. We implement a stack the same way we implement a linked list. We create a, a node type and it has two values, an integer type and recursively it has a node pointer as well. So to create our empty stack we just say stack top gets the value of head and head will probably be pointing to nothing for the moment because it's got no value yet. So we look at how to implement the following methods. Is the stack full? Is the stack empty? How do we push a value onto the stack? How do we pop the top value off? And how do we inspect the top value of the stack using a linked list implementation? So how do we check if the stack is full? Well, we, we do not check if a stack is full for a linked list because the linked list can grow infinitely. So we could implement the method by saying the stack is a linked list and is never full. So we could just print out that message. Unlike with an array, where the array gets full with a linked list, you can always add a new node on. So there is no full with a linked list implementation of a stack. On the other hand, if the stack pointer, stack top points to null, then we know that the stack is empty. So our code will be either create a boolean called empty. If the stack top is null, then empty is true, else empty is false and return the boolean empty, or more briefly we could just say return stack top equals null. So if the stack top is null, it will return true, that is the stack is empty. If the stack top is not null, then the stack isn't empty, so it will return false. 
how do we add a value onto a linked list? So let's say we want to create a new node that has value in and at a, a given position, how do we add it on? Simply put, if we want to push a value onto the top of the stack, which is the only place we can add it to, that's position zero on the linked list, we say create a new node of type node. The value of that new node is n. Now, if the stack is empty, all we do is just say that the stack top now points to new node. Else, the new node, what it's, it's going to point to is what is the current stack top. And now the stack top is going, the new stack top is going to be new node. So that's pushing a new value onto the stack. Unlike the more complicated module we created for adding a value into a linked list, adding a value into a stack, we can only add it into position zero. So all we can do is add it to the top and make the, the, the new node be the top of the stack and make the stack pointer now point to that new node. How do we take the top value off? Well, we use the stack top pointer again and we check if the linked list is empty. The stack is empty. If the stack is empty, we just print out stack is empty. Otherwise, to pop the top value, we store the value in the top node into a variable called n, and then we now say the new stack top is whatever stack top points to, so the second value in the list, and then we return n. How do we just inspect the top value without returning it? It's quite straightforward. We just say um, if the stack is empty, then we say the stack is empty. Otherwise, we just say the value n is whatever the top value is, is, and then we return that value. So it's very similar to how we manipulate linked lists, except this, these stack modules have very specific rules we only take from the start. So thanks very much. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>